and we are live here at Costco in Coral Springs, Florida. Hey, everybody out there, Jeff. And uh, you're probably wondering, hey, what are you doing out? You know, you're supposed to be quarantined and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know we are. Uh, but they are allowing people out to go make food runs. And what we're doing today is we have a number of uh, disabled people in our church and ladies that are shut-ins that can't get out. So my mission today is to go out and get all those supplies and toilet paper and paper towels for people like okay we're reconnected again looks like it dropped a signal for a second there and it's really bright out here so i can't read everybody's names i can sort of read the message i see somebody wrote good luck so i apologize in advance it's going to be hard for me to because it's so bright out here to read any of the comments but i wanted to give you guys just a couple of tips here this morning here because i did get here at about 10 a.m and was able to get paper towels here and toilet paper so thank god the lord has blessed us today and where he picks them up for these ladies who are shut in we have a lady that is uh she lives in a, an assisted living facility right around the corner from our house thank god she's pretty close they won't let anybody in or out so we've packed up some paper towels and toilet paper for her and we're going to uh, take it over there and hopefully that will let, they'll allow us to drop it off at the desk because i've got gloves on and it's in a cardboard box and hopefully they'll be happy with that and and because some of these people are really desperate so anyway let me give you uh, some tips on on the best way for you to get the paper towels and toilet paper here at costco our particular costco here even though the hour says 10 a.m till whatever they actually open at 9 a.m so you need to check if your costco does the same thing so if they open at 9 a.m it's a good idea to be in line a little before but i was surprised that today because we had to go pick up laptops at our school for our kids to do distance learning now, uh, we got here at about 10 a.m., about an hour after they opened, and luckily there was still toilet paper. So it looks like the stores are beginning to catch up now. So they had about, um, I don't know, uh, at least a dozen pallets of the toilet paper this morning. It's the most I've ever seen them have. And let's see, I can't read who it is, but it says, hey, Jeff, and I, I can't, it's just so bright out here to read it. Let's see, Paul from Newport. Hey, Newport Richie. Hey, Paul. And uh, you're, you guys struggling over there? Still no stock in there? A friend of ours said that in Boca, the Costco was empty already. So yeah, so the key, and same thing with, with BJ's Club too. We did the same thing last week, folks. People think they're out of toilet paper and paper towels. What happens is they really do have them, but they have them for basically the first hour that they're open. So from 10 to 10.30 in here, they had uh, toilet paper here. From the time I arrived at 10 to the time I checked out at 10.30, they had toilet paper here. So that's the key is getting in like right when they open. The other key is to avoiding certain days when they allow seniors in early. So this particular Costco here, and I think all of them in Broward County here, have Tuesday and Thursday mornings from 8 to 9 as seniors only. So you either got to get somebody you know is 60 years old and go stand in line with him, you know, or dig up grandma, you know, put grandma to use. That's that's what I say. So let me see what else we got. What other questions that are coming in here or comments? Hello from Florida. Good. We have a lot of Florida people here. It says you could repurpose. Let me see. I can't I can't read it. It says you could repurpose a pellet and make rolls of toilet paper. How about this, guys? Use both sides makes sense to me right you guys got to go on um youtube after after this and you got to look up this funny seinfeld video from from back in the 90s and it's called uh uh having to square to spare if you type that that's a really funny skit with elaine when she was in the ladies bathroom and the lady next to her wouldn't give her a square of toilet paper hilarious hilarious skit you guys got to see that one uh so anyway uh uh, the tips here are, you know, same with, with Costco and BJ's. And we haven't tried this at Sam's Club yet, so I don't know. But getting there, like, when they open, if you are if you can get in there within the first half hour, you're pretty much almost guaranteed to get toilet paper. And paper towels is not as much of an issue as toilet paper, but it does look like they're catching up. So when I left here at 1030, and I was in here from 10 to 1030, they had uh, the paper towels still at least seven or eight pallets of it plenty of water this particular costco here in coral springs right now it looks like business as usual man they get all chicken everything's all chicken in there is back in stock where it was not on monday so they have plenty of of that stuff there 
And if you guys are wondering why am I broadcasting out on the parking lot, well, you remember back in January, a number of managers at different Costco's were telling me not to video in there. And when I applied for permission as a YouTube influencer uh, through their, I don't know, what is it, public relations department or whatever, they gave me some bogus excuse why not. The guy said that I would be too much of a distraction to the warehouse operations. And I'm like, wait a minute, what? You have a contract on your site here where I applied. There's a contract that's made specifically for YouTube influencers. And why would you have that contract up there and then at the same breath tell me that um, I'm going to be a distraction to the warehouse when everybody walks around with their phones out anyway because they're always taking pictures of stuff and sending it to their family. Hey, should I buy this? Should I buy that? So that was a really lame excuse that they gave me. So actually before this whole thing started with the coronavirus and everybody being quarantined, um, I had planned to send the CEO a letter to see if he could maybe intervene and say, you know, like, you know, I come in all the time. I got 60,000 followers here almost. And uh, I, I do, you know, pretty positive uh, live streams for you guys. And it does say in the contract that you're not to show, you know, Costco in a bad light. Uh, so anyway, the other big deal I wanted to show you guys today, because I, I showed it uh, as a on their online site a few days ago, that DeWalt 173-piece mechanics tool set that you guys have seen me watching this kit since last June for $99. Well, they had it down to $79 at Black Friday, and they had it online for $69 for like only three days the other day. Well, guess what? I walk in the store today, and it's there in the flesh for $69, bucks, folks. And that's good until the 30th, which is this Monday, if I remember correctly. I, I can't even tell what day we are in the month anymore. So anyway, if, if you guys were following that set, that's a that's about as good of a deal as you're going to get on any of the mechanics tool sets right now. Now, the only deal better than that was when I saw that set, and if you guys saw our live stream last Father's Day, where I took that set, and I showed you guys it was $49.97, and I set it right back down instead of putting it in my cart and buying it. And when I went in a few days later, remembering to go get it, let's go back in and buy it, it was already gone. So, oh shopping blunder of the century there let me see if i can read any more comments it, it is very difficult to read out in the sunlight here let me uh show you kind of where i'm at i'm standing in front of the 7-eleven shooting at the uh the costco here and uh let me pull up here it says I live in pennsylvania now oh fort bragg i can't read it it's just too difficult all right. So for those of you who are just tuning in that maybe didn't hear our advice is to is don't call Costco and ask them when they're opening because their message says 10 a.m. And what we find out is that they're actually opening at 9 a.m. So you need to check in your store in your area, I guess, just by finding out from other people who have gone. But the key is, is to be in line when they open at 9 a.m. And you can probably get there a half hour earlier and you'll be okay. And as long as you're in that first group of people in, you'll be fine, really. And uh, you'll, you're will you almost guaranteed to get toilet paper. Know where your toilet paper is stocked in the store and make a beeline for the back. If you're with somebody, have somebody run ahead of you. You have the cart and, you run, and have somebody run ahead of you all the way to the back of the store, wherever it is that they keep it. In this store here in Coral Springs, you got to go in the door. And it's all the way to the back right corner wall. So I got in there and I'm like <laughs> zooming back there. So luckily today we were good. The, with the pallets, they usually have five or six pallets of them. And they'll last maybe an hour. Depends on how much of a crowd you have. And then if you're young, avoid like for, for example, this store Tuesday and Thursdays is, is a, a Senior Citizens Day from 8 to 9. So you're likely to see those paper towels and toilet papers sell out before nine but sometimes you know I, I got here the other day at 9 20 on senior day and they still had a little bit but they just ran out of toilet paper i missed the toilet paper but i was able to get the paper towels so i'm here buying today in case any of you guys are wondering i know we're going to get some comments or there's always going to be one holier than thou idiot that's going to comment in there going what part of stay inside did you not understand well the reason why we're out here today was because i had to come out here and get stuff for some of the elderly ladies in our church who are shuttered in place and some are in assisted living facilities that nobody can go in or out. They're not even allowed to leave their unit 
to go to the laundry room to do laundry. They're not even allowed to go to the trash chute to dump out trash. So that's how desperate those situations are. So yeah, I kind of risked life and limb today by coming here to do this, but you know, I'm wearing gloves. So, and Costco does a great job of keeping everybody six feet apart. They're disinfecting every single shopping cart as, as they, they bring them inside, they form a line of shopping carts inside, and they make you take from the front of the line of shopping carts there. That way you're guaranteed to get one that's been disinfected. And you can't eat at the food court anymore. You have to, and there's only limited, it's basically hot dog and pizza. And you can't do the drinks, the guy has to do the drinks for you and give you the drinks, and then you have to leave immediately. And they keep everybody six feet apart at the register. And they have splash guards on the register there. All right, so let me see if I can read some of these, these other comments that came in here. The workers there will tell you what they have, yeah, if you ask them. Yeah, yeah. so they'll, they'll know it by the front door. But don't always believe it because, like, you can sell out right now and they don't know it up at the front door yet. So it does take a while for it to filter out. What Costco, Jeff? I'm going uh, to contact them on corporate. Yeah, we're at the we're at the um, the Coral Springs one right now, so that that's usually the one I try to come to. And the, I've also done the Pompano Beach, Florida one. So those are the two that I that I typically go to. But if you have like official permission to video inside from Costco headquarters. You know, there's a form that I can bring in with me, and if they ever get me into trouble, I can just show them the form. And, of course, you're, you, it's a good idea to check in with the manager before you come in. But typically when I come in, I'm not coming in with a camera crew. I'm not uh, causing any issues, and I usually have a gimbal. And I'm sorry if the video is a little shaky right now because I don't have my gimbal with me. I had it at home. We're just filming a lot of videos at home right now for... Um, the remodeling and stuff like that 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 uh the videos that we want to upload and we just uploaded a great video the other day if you guys haven't seen it when you're done here you got to go check on our videos tab we just uploaded that video that that compares the milwaukee hole dozers hole saw with the bosch daredevil spade bits and the irwin speed bore spade bits so three different sets of bits and we run them through all different materials to see which one does the best and that was a great experiment a little bit longer than normal video but you guys know when we do product reviews we're, we're we're running these things through the mill and we're timing them and we're comparing them and all of that so hopefully you'll turn in and uh, enjoy that video too but listen i got i got some fresh food in the car that i got to get these to our our ladies that are in need right now they're desperate and desperate for toilet paper and paper towels and thank god we were able to get it so when you guys get out there get in get out be safe if you have a mask, wear a mask. If you have gloves, wear gloves. Everybody check your garages. If you have any extra dust masks, maybe you do a lot of work and you have dust masks. If they're N95, find out in your local area whether the hospitals uh, are taking them because they're asking for that kind of stuff here. Uh, let me see. I can't. I, I'm, I can't read the comments. I'm sorry. So, listen, if you guys have any questions um, when this video ends, put them in the comments below, and I'll answer them when I get home in a couple of hours, all right? So, listen, you guys all stay safe. Hope you have a, a great couple of weeks off and try to be as productive as you can. Watch our tool reviews and our project videos that we upload, our remodeling videos. And we'll see you guys all on the next one. Ciao, y'all.